Hello and welcome to Dandy 29's LED Cube Part 2. Today I'm going to be talking about why I want to do this, mainly because it's my first Arduino project. I'm going to explain how the cube works and I will explain the, how the code generally runs. So I formed a square originally by taking all the negative leads and bending them down to form a box, just this one layer. And then I put them together in columns. So the boxes, the squares, are connected to a transistor which is then connected back to the ground with Arduino. The positive leads are connected in a column going up and are connected to I.O. pins of the Arduino. So let's say I wanted to turn on this very center guy. What I would do is I would turn on that corresponding positive lead pin, and I would turn on the second transistor, which would then in turn turn on this middle layer and this middle LED. So the programming does look a little confusing right now, but it's not very complicated. Basically, um, you just defined a the I.O. pins as integers and name them, and then you define all of them as outputs because the ones that are hooked up to the transistors just make the transistors act like micro switches. And then the rest of it is pretty much just highs and lows representing either on or off. So I do have a pretty big code right now which is, I want to say about a minute and 15 long which is interesting. Alright, thanks for watching. Look for more videos from us soon. Bye.